Um, good evening, everyone. I'm Long from International Bamboo and Rattan Organization. Today, I will give you some brief information about bamboo carbon emission reduction through its product and energy. Next slide, please. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, bamboo is one of the fastest um, growing plants on earth. If you plant bamboo, you can harvest them after three to five years. And once you harvest them, you can keep on annually for a long period, it can be 30 years or 100 years or more, depending on the species. And bamboo is relatively easy to manage and they provide good ecosystem service as well. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, in terms of carbon, one hectare of bamboo forest, you can store between 94 to 392 tons of carbon. It is similar to tree plantation and lower than tropical forest. However, uh, could you next move to the next slide, please? Bamboo has other advantages. That is, they have very high rate of annual carbon sequestration. If properly managed, some species can sequest up to 25 tons of carbon per hectare per year. That is a twice faster than fat growing trees. Uh, next slide, please. Um, with the fat growing, if you uh, collect the bamboo comb and make it into the durable products, they can lock substantial amount of carbon. I take example of Guadua bamboo. Guadua bamboo is a medium rate growing. If you uh, uh, plant the bamboo for it and mix into the product, around 40 to 45 percent of uh, Biomass can be made into durable product over a period of 30 years. It can lock up to almost 500 tons of carbon. Next slide, please. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. And bamboo can provide various form of energy. You can burn them directly, or you can make into the pellets, or you can make bamboo charcoal, or gasify them for running electric cities. Uh, bamboo ethanol is also relatively new. However, they can uh, converge with very high rates. One ton of dry bamboo can, uh, can produce 130, 143 liters of ethanol. It's lower than cone of coat. Cone is around 380s. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, if you, uh, next slide, please. If you gasify the bamboo, uh, for example, Russia to uh, produce electricity and substitute for grid uh, electricity, then over a period of 30 years, you can also reduce more than 30, uh, 300 tons of carbon. Uh, next slide, please. So now is here, I show you uh, some case study uh, from our projects in Africa. The first one is uh, in Madagascar. In Madagascar, there are number, many community live in the remote area. They don't get access to grid electricity and where they have to run a diesel for running electricity from diesel generator. So we support them with uh, building a small uh, gasification plant with 25 kilowatt hours. That's enough for 250 household. And daily they run for six hours. It consumes 180 kilograms of dry bamboo. Over the years, and then in this case, the community needs, depending on species, uh, in between 1.5 to 3 hectares of bamboo that is enough, uh, providing enough fish stock for whole community running. And they can save around 28 tons of carbon per year. Next slide, please. Uh, the other case in Tanzania, where deforestation is severe, uh, the biggest uh, driver of deforestation is uh, harvesting good for making good charcoal. Government try to ban it. However, it hurts because more than 90% of population depend on good charcoal for cooking. So what we come help, help it first to use bamboo restore the degraded land and help the people on set up enterprise to make bamboo products like bamboo furniture, handicraft, all the bamboo weight it help to set up bamboo, making bamboo charcoal. In this way, the local people have bamboo charcoal. They don't depend on the good charcoal. It reduces um, the, the, the threat to the forest. At the same time, it provides jobs for the people, especially women and children, and provides income for family. 
a family can earn around 200 US dollar per month from uh, making and selling bamboo charcoal. So is it my next one is a final my uh, conclusion. Um, here is a bamboo energy can help reduce deforestation and degradation can save the carbon emission, uh, emission and bamboo can have a high potential for uh, energy, especially for community and people in the remote area. My recommendation uh, for, is further research on economic feasibilities for different uh, operational uh, scale of the bamboo energy producer. And second one is to promote bamboo energy for wider application through awareness raising, uh, creating enabling policy environment and facilitating financial cooperation and technology transfer. Thank you very much.